Hello, and this is Slingshot Warrior. And I know in a previous video I did a list of famous women I'd like to slap. But, to be honest with you, there are famous men I'd like to punch. So, to make everything balanced and fair, I got a list of famous men, top 10 famous men, I'd like to punch. Seth Rogen, Christmas Inc., anyone? Where he mocked Christians and he mocked Christmas. What a terrible Christmas movie he made. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin has assaulted people for basically be uh, for uh, over parking disputes. He shot a woman. Oh, I'd love to put that asshole in traction. Mm -hmm. He deserves a punch in the face. He's punched someone else in the face. He shot someone. He deserves to get his jaw broken, in my opinion. He's an asshole. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Well, since I have his first name, we, we share the same first name, I think he's a wussy and a punk. <laughs> and a dopehead. <laughs> he deserves his teeth broken. Woody Allen. Well, look at him. He banged his uh, adopted um, Asian daughter. I mean, this guy's a pervert, you know? This guy deserves to get his put not only punched in the face, kicked in the balls. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. What a freaking sellout. He used to be manly. Now he sells out to this bullshit like climate change. And it basically sells out his main audience. Yeah, he used to be a hero of mine, but now I see him as a freaking sellout. You know, just basically cowtailing to basically all the uh, liberal causes. Yeah, his nuts are definitely been cut off at this point. Pat Oswalt. <laughs> what a stupid woke champagne socialist who has a nice house a, like a nice house you know a swimming pool a mansion pretty much he has a mansion mm. and yet he uh, quotes all this woke bullshit mm. he's not even that funny Bill Gates there are many reasons I mean I could go into a whole list of reasons why this guy deserves to get punched in the face Oh. Uh, does uh, Jeffrey Epstein's private island ring a bell? <laughs> Will Ferrell, not funny and annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> LeVar Burton. This guy supported cancel culture. This guy called cancel culture accountability culture. What a piece of crap. Yeah, I, I got a rainbow for you to read right here, LeVar. Mm. Jimmy Kimball. What a traitor. Mm. He used to host a show called The Man Show. It was the most manliest show there was. It said that it made fun of feminism, that um, it was funny. Um, not, nothing to married with children was that funny. But he just, he just became a nutless wonder, didn't he? His nuts fell off real quick. Well, just for the money. He sold out for the money. Well, that is my top 10 list of famous men I like to punch. <laughs> More on this later. Bye.